Hey guys, Gecko Guy here. So, I bought an upgrade for my STX10. I'm off the tripod right now because I'm going to show you a little bit of my setup here. Um, so, just going to show you my setup currently. I have a Traxxas XL5 ESC and has a Dean's connector. I'm going to be selling this ESC. It has a HPI Racing 35 turn and my uh, waterproof high-tech servo. I'm gonna leave that in there. It's been doing just fine for me. Gotta get the gotta get a new steering link. I, these I don't like. It makes my uh, wheels kind of off-centered. But anyway, I bought a 35-turn RC four-wheel drive um, crawler motor, as well as a Sidewinder uh, waterproof. Um, now this is a brushless ESC, but I have the Castle programming card where I can make it um, set up for brushed setups only. So I'm going to be doing that. Going to get a lot more power than I have from this. Um, now I'm not sure if I will sell this or not. I could use this for another crawler-ish project and make a dual motor mount. This back wheel I'll just leave the same. There's no point in buying more. Uh, um, mudslingers here. Uh, these mudslingers have three ounces of lead weight in them each. This is just the RC four wheel drive snowplow with the uh, servo that I waterproofed. Um, really, all I needed to do was make a bead of silicone all the way around, um, all the way around here. So I bought a can of liquid plastic dip, um, plastic dip, because the or a spray can, I should say. Because the other cans, um, they like to, or the, the can part where you dip your stuff in there, it likes to cure over time and before you know it you have a solid can of plastic in there versus an aerosol can. So that's what I went with. So I'm going to solder on a Dean's connector because that's what I use for all my lipos and get that going. I went with, um, remember if you, if you remember out on that crawling trail vid I did, um, I, I had a breakage of my Punisher shaft. So I went with the stock shaft. Um, the stock shaft I had really no problems with. These are pretty good long term, unless you're running brushless power, but just for crawling around, it's plenty. Really don't need anything else. But anyway, I'm gonna put that in there and get it going. I'm not really gonna do a soldering tutorial. I just don't like soldering. I don't like doing soldering tutorials, so. I'm just going to come back once I've done that, and then uh, I'll show you how it looks. Alright, and here we are. Here's the final product. I just zip tied it down in the back here. I'll have to grind these down a little later. That seems a little sharp. But, um, yeah, I've got some... This is the only kind of wire I had at the time, and then I heat shrunk on some 4mm bolt connectors to the motor wire. I left the HPI motor in there. I'm gonna run that until it burns, uh, burns out. Um, and here is a Dean's connector. I know I need to get that. Um, um, <clears throat> I need to get that heat shrunk on there. But this is what happened. I guess I went with the wrong size heat shrinking. But I can always use a little bit of Plasti Dip, and that's probably what I'll do. As well as these right here, um, these little wires. Probably hit those real quick. Um, might touch this up a bit with some heat shrink or not heat shrink, but a little bit of Plasti Dip But uh, anyway, it works It works a lot nicer than the XL5. I see a lot more power This can be used down the line for brushless setups, and I might get one for the Telluride over there But as far as the old uh, ESC, I'll probably keep it in case I want to do something, but here's something um, that I could use for ESC, or not ESCs, but receivers. Well, you can use this for ESCs as well. But, um, balloons. Black balloons, um, for my receiver. And then I'll just put a little dab of silicone on there. Just because we don't want to have a receiver burn out on us like last time. Um, this should be good all right. Right here, it's been snowing. Um, last couple times I couldn't get out there and, um, really, um, do anything. Um, because it all pretty much melted as soon as it fell or it was too sloppy or it, because it was down for maintenance but I'll be definitely putting uh, one of these in, for the receiver here 
so I can dunk this underwater once springtime rolls around. But other than that, I really haven't been doing much RCs. I've got a little bit of carbon fiber for making some low C micros that came in, and I've got some uh, new LEDs here. LED kit that I can put for my micros as well so I can't wait to start doing that and solder those up so um, I'll end that here be sure to comment like and subscribe thanks for watching guys and I'm really happy how my SCX 10 is coming along and we'll see you guys again